Hi, I'm Abigail Kitchens. I'm a veterinarian who graduated from Texas A&M University in 2008. Since graduation, I've worked very closely with the deer industry. For the past 11 years, I've helped thousands of clients apply identification methods to their various forms of livestock. Cattle, bison, deer, sheep, goats, horses, pigs, and even chickens. Today, I wanna to discuss some of the identification options that we use here in the deer industry specifically and talk about their applications and also how to read them. The first method is a microchip, which is simple, effective, and quick to apply and to read. It requires only a single needle for application. The second method that we'll discuss is a tattoo of the ear. This requires more time and skill to apply and can use up to 64 needles. A microchip is easily applied. It comes prepackaged with a sterilized application syringe and a needle, which is preloaded with the microchip. Also included in the package is a set of stickers that already have the 15 digit identification number on them. The sticker system improves record keeping immensely. It makes it simple, efficient, and improves the accuracy of putting that number identification with that individual animal. The microchip can be applied between the shoulder blades, behind the ear, or at the base of the tail. The application is very rapid, which results in minimal pain for the animal and minimizes the duration of restraint necessary. Reading the microchip is also a simple and quick process. You first have your reader ready to go. Restrain the animal and use the reader to scan the animal by pushing the button in the center of the reader. It takes between one and six seconds for the reader to find the microchip and read out that 15 digit identification number. Due to the ease of reading these numbers and the minimal amount of time it takes, they are easy to check every time the animal is handled. The British Small Animal Veterinary Association maintains a database of adverse reaction to microchips. Since the database was started in 1996, over 4 million animals have been microchipped and only 391 adverse reactions have been reported. Of these reactions, migration of the microchip from its original implantation site is the most common problem reported. Other problems such as failure of the microchip, hair loss, infection, swelling, and a rare tumor formation have been reported in much lower numbers. That's a less than 0.0009% chance of an adverse reaction to a microchip. The application of the tattoo is a much lengthier and complicated process. To apply a tattoo properly, you need to have patience, proper training, tools, and adequate restraint. You first need to identify the tattoo that you are going to apply to the animal. Then you need to select each of the letters or digits that are going in that tattoo and ensure that you place them in the correct order on the gun. If you select the wrong digit or place a letter or digit in the wrong order, then you have incorrectly identified that animal. After ensuring that your tattoo gun is loaded correctly, then you can apply the tattoo to the animal. First, make sure that the ear is clean. Then apply a liberal amount of ink to the area of the ear where you will be applying the tattoo. Once you've applied the ink, then you can apply the tattoo gun. Make sure that you have liberal pressure on the gun to ensure that the needles penetrate completely into the cartilage layer underneath the skin. After the tattoo gun has been removed, more ink is applied to ensure that the ink penetrates the skin. In my experience, many tattoos are not legible several years later. The reading of a tattoo is complicated and requires skill and training to ensure that it is done properly. Adequate and safe restraint is especially important with reading and applying tattoos. You can injure yourself very quickly trying to read a tattoo on an animal that is fighting the restraint. Most tattoos are not easily read at first glance. If the tattoo is not easily identified or read at first glance, then the ear is cleaned. We use alcohol to assist in the removal of the wax and debris adhered to the ear. If the tattoo is still not easily legible, then we clip or shave the hair around the tattoo to improve visibility. If the tattoo is still not legible, then a flashlight is used to illuminate the ear, which improves the visibility of the ink. There are many reasons for tattoo failures. If the ink mixes with dirt or wax from the ear, it won't last as long. The ink can also bleed or smudge underneath the ear. The tattoo can get infected or be damaged by a rip ear. Tattoos can fail for many reasons. The application of the ink is one of the most important things that can cause tattoo failure. You need to make sure that the ear is clean. If the ink mixes with wax or debris, it can cause that ink to not last as long. Also, after application, that ink can bleed underneath the skin and cause bleeding or smudging of the tattoo. After the fact, the tattoo can be infected because you're creating open wounds in the ear, or if an ear tag is ripped or damaged, 
it can also affect the tattoo in the same ear. The animal can jump around during the application process, which can also prevent proper application of the tattoo. The application of the tattoo, as well as the reading of the tattoo, requires much longer duration of restraint. Deer stress very easily due to their wild nature. We try to avoid anything that causes undue stress to our animals. Any additional stress that the animals undergo weakens their immune systems, which can leave them more susceptible to disease. Tattoos are not a sterile procedure. There is not a way to sterilize the ink that is placed into the wound that you've created. The gun, digits, and letters should be cleaned and disinfected between each use to prevent the spread of disease and infection between individuals. Due to the complicated process of applying the tattoo, there are many steps along the way for human error to play a role in an animal being misidentified. They are so difficult to read in most cases that they won't be checked regularly for accuracy or legibility until it's necessary. When the animal is anesthetized, it is easier to manipulate the ear to improve the legibility of the tattoo. Reapplication of the tattoo, however, is difficult because lining up the tattoo gun perfectly with the previous marks is made more complicated by a moving target. Microchips improve record keeping and decrease the chances that human error will cause the misidentification of an animal. They are quick and easy to apply and to read, which minimizes the stress on the animals. The risks of complications or failures is remarkably low and they are easy to check every time the animal is handled, both awake and anesthetized. In summary, I believe that the microchip should be an acceptable method for permanent identification of an animal. Here at High Roller, we have applied over a thousand chips to deer over the past four years. We have always been able to read them and have not had a single failure. In my experience with tattoos, you are lucky if you're able to read a couple of the letters or numbers in the tattoo of a two-year-old deer. As the animal gets older, the tattoo becomes less and less legible.